Welcome to Equal Time with Martha Burke. Last week, a guy walks into a bar, well, actually an arena, never heard of him. I size him up. Ex-coach and looks the part, weird smile and a funny name, Walls. What a dud, he'll never get anywhere. Then he opened his mouth. Boy, was I wrong. Great speaker, grassroots appeal, no pretty boy, ex-coach, gun owner backing sensible controls. Huh, and could someday be prez, by election or circumstance. Now that the initial hysteria has died down, let's compare Waltz to some VPs that have preceded him. First up has to be Harris herself. As VP, she wasn't much of a showgirl, and many Americans, including me, knew little about her. She's got great credentials, including Attorney General and U.S. Senator before becoming Vice President, but like the Bible says, She hid her light under a bushel until Biden decided to forego a second term. Now for some VP winners and losers from the past. Let's go with the guy I consider the clear winner first, Lyndon Johnson. As VP chosen by John F. Kennedy to help carry the South, he was not a major player until he was elevated to the presidency through a quirk of history. Kennedy's assassination in 63. He won in his own right in 64, and that's when his real legacy began. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the 65 Voting Act remain bedrocks of American democracy. Unfortunately, the morass of the Vietnam War that Johnson inherited from Kennedy brought him down. And like Biden today, he decided not to seek another term. For the biggest loser who first occupied the number two slot, I nominate Tricky Dick Nixon. Watergate, anyone? History shows that when you elect a press, you're also electing a number two who could become number one in a heartbeat. So, will it be Walls? who has a solid resume with five terms in the U.S. House and two as a governor, or J.D. Vance, a first-time senator whose main credentials are fawning over a felon and trash-talking the majority of voters, women. You decide. You've got one vote. Use it wisely. Thanks for listening to Equal Time. I'm Martha Burke.